Now, one of the problems that I have with this little girl is that I really worked with recall. What hard with her with the recall? With the whistle. Okay, we played the whistle game between the two of us. She ran backwards and forwards. We've done it ever since she was a little puppy. But now she was, when she went through adolescence, she didn't want to be caught. Cool. We'd take her to the beach and she's so super friendly. She wants to play with all the dogs on the beach because it is a dog friendly beach and nearly 99.9% .9 of the dogs are all really, really friendly. And of course she wants to play with them all. <laughs> and she gets about six foot away. <laughs> And then she goes, bye, <laughs> big grin, and off she goes again to play with the next dog. So she would just be out of reach of my hands. So to solve the problem, what I've been doing is I've been using the word collar. So I blow the whistle, and as she gets near me, I say the word collar because every night when she's going to bed, I take her collar off. And then in the morning, I put her collar back on. And so, um, what I've now worked out is that if I say the word collar when we're out, she comes to my hands. <laughs> so, hang on. Yeah, Primrose. She's trying to find the keys. Primrose, collar. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. Okay. So, every time I call her, I say the word collar, collar, <laughs> collar, <laughs> and she comes to my hands. So, another top tip, <laughs> take the collar off at night, put it on in the morning, and every time you do, you say collar. 